Hello and welcome. How are you doing, my friend? Today I am planning to show you that how we can start this uh, Toyota Camry car. And here is this my Toyota Camry car. And uh, this Camry is excellent choice. And especially I recommend always that we choose this automatic transmission. And in that my car, when I am planning to start that, first we need of course this key. And I insert that key in this slot. And this key goes in, in that way and that way in this position. And now it's in this slot. And then when I rotate, rotate that, we can see those warning lights. And then remember that this gear stick, it must be when we start that car in this P position. And I can move that gear stick so that I press that area in here. And now, when I can't move that gear stick, there is a situation that I insert that first off, that I need to press this brake pedal in here. Look, this is brake pedal. And when I press that down, then this gear stick should move, yes. And, and now when I change that in air, like reverse position, now it should be so that this car don't start. Yes. It don't start, and always when we start this car, this gear stick should be in this P or neutral position. And let's check, first is the most common first press, in here and then in here and same time I believe that okay now it moves in here good but it is interesting that in that car when I try to move I have to always press this brake pedal in here and then when I press that I can move that and now I insert that in here and then I start and now this engine should start, yes. And then when I like to turn off, it comes in here. Okay, and again, and there is this like no power switch. And then when I insert that my key and when I rotate, we can see that something is happening. Good. And now engine is running. And then we can always little bit press that gas pedal in that way. And when I break that gas pedal, gas pedal, in the same time, it happens so that this car takes revs. And these Toyota's engines, they are excellent to take revs. They, are, they rotate smoothly because engine parts, they are so high quality parts and engineering is best in the world. And now I saw that like I like to test that how it takes 6000 turns. And in that point this car automatically st uh, stops this revving when it goes in this uh, red area because if this car takes more than 7000 turns it is possible that this engine can be go broken. Okay, but now everything is fine and there is this this uh, fasten seat belt is blinking and then when I am planning to start to drive again I need to press this brake pedal. This is the first step first and then I can change this my gear stick to D position like drive in that way. And now it's in D and in same time we can look that in here dashboard when I am moving. This is this P like parking and then when I move that in D, it is easy to see in there. Then I can start to drive this car and there is my this area. And then this car start to move so that, that I am by the way all time pressing this brake pedal in that way. It is la now brake is on and then when we have this automatic transmission and when I take my this foot in here away and I release this brake pedal, this car start to move a little bit in forward. 
interesting. And car is moving. And then when I like to drive faster, I need to press that brake with this gas pedal in that way. And then when I press this gas pedal, this car takes more turns. And then I need to only rotate the steering wheel in that way. And now when I am planning to drive in here and I like to rotate, I need to move that my steering wheel in that way. And now when I rotate in here, I can drive in this direction. It is so easy. And then when I like to stop my car, I need to break this brake pedal in here and that way. And what the fast then and what the more we press that brake pedal, then this car stops faster, faster, uh, uh, more faster. Okay. And now when I am in this position, that that I am, I have this D drive on. This car goes all time in forward. And how I can stop this moving? Best way is to move that stick in this neutral position in that way. And now, now this car stops to move. Great. Now this car don't anymore go forward. But then when I like to go forward, I again, I move that in here. And now we are in D position and car goes forward. And, and then when I like to accelerate, I need to only press that a little bit more. And then car goes faster. And okay, and there is going. And then I need to press this brake pedal. If I like to press that my, uh, sorry, when I stop my car. Okay. Okay, and then when I am finally okay, and I like to stop this driving. I need to do so that I can sat down in any position this car in that way. And sat down means that revs are zero and this car stopping is possible for all gears. But in, I recommend that always we insert that in final step this gear stick to P like park position because it's this uh, this, uh, there is small brake on in gearbox, this automatic gearbox. Okay, and that kind of information, and please enjoy that thing, and then we continue.